Let us now take another sutram which prescribes a tritiya samasaha. We are of course in the adhikara of tatpurushaha, which goes from 2122 down to 2222. Sutram we are taking up now is 2131, which says, Purva Sadrisha Samonartha Kalaha Nipurna Mishra Shlakshnaihi. Vritti says, Tithiyantam etaihi saha vasamasyate sacha tat. Purushaha. And the vritti of Tritiya is coming from the prior Sutram 2130, which we have studied. Tritiya Tatkritarthena Gunavachanena. And the vritti of Tritiya runs down through all the rules down to 2135. Now we know why the vritti says Tritiyantam, because as per the Paribhasha Sutram, Yena Vidhistadantasya, a qualifier by means of which an injunction is made, stands for a term which ends in it as well as for itself. So Tritiya stands for Tritiyantam Padam. And why does the vritti say Va? Because we are in Yadhikara of Vivarsha, which starts from 2111, goes all the way down to 2. 229. So the meaning of this sutram is a padam ending in a third case affix optionally compounds with a syntactically related padam composed by adding a sup affix to any one of the following and the resulting compound gets the designation tatpurushaha. Why do we say syntactically related padam? Because of the paribhasha sutram 211 samartha padavidhi. Any padavidhi, any prescription involving one or more terms having the designation padam has to be based on samarthyam. There has to be a connection, a syntactic relation between one padam and another padam in order for the vidhi, the operation to take place. Samas vidhi is a kind of padavidhi. That's why we always say syntactically related padam. What do you say by adding a sup affix to? Because we are in the adhikara of 214 sahasupa. So compounding has to be done with a term ending in a sup affix. A padam ending in a sup affix. So a padam ending in a third case affix optionally compounds with a syntactically related padam composed by adding a sup affix to one of the following and the resulting compound gets the designation tatpurushaha. First one here is Purva. Purva meaning prior. Second is Sadrisha meaning like or similar. Third is Sama meaning equal to. Fourth is Unartha. So Una meaning less or any one of its synonyms. That's what is meant by Unartha. Fifth is Kalaha meaning quarrel. Sixth is Nipuna meaning skillful or clever. Seventh is Mishra meaning mixed. And eighth is Shlakshna meaning gentle or polished. Note here says that Iha Sama Sadrisha Yoge Tulyarthaira Tulopa Mabhyan Tritiyanya Tarasyam Iti Tritiya. So the Sutram 2372, which we have studied, prescribes a third case affix optionally following a Pradipadikam co occurring with Sama or Sadrisha because Sama as well as Sadrisha is synonym of Tulya. The comment here further says that Anyair Yoge Tvata Eva Vachanat Hetau Itiva Tritiya. Use of a third case affix following a Pradipadikam co occurring with any of the other terms, Purva, etc., may be justified by the very fact that this Sutram 2131 prescribes compounding between a Padam ending in a third case affix and Purva etc. Because there is no point prescribing compounding unless a Padam which is connecting with Purva, Unartha etc. ends in a third case affix. So the very fact that compounding is being prescribed means that a Padam which is co-occurring with Purva etc. ends in a third case affix. Or Sutram 2323 hetau may be used to justify the third case affix. For example, when we say masena purvaha, here masaha meaning a month may be looked upon as a cause or reason why someone is prior. So this is the other way to justify the third case affix in masena. Okay, let's look at the example now. Masena purvaha equals masa purvaha prior by one month, earlier by one month. Steps are very straightforward. The alokika vigraha vakyam is 
is the masata tritya ek vachanam plus purva su compounding prescribed by this sutram 2131 because we do have ititiyantam padam masata compounding with a padam which is composed by adding a sup affix to purva which is specifically listed in the sutram 2131 so all the conditions for applying 2131 are satisfied now the usual steps as per the sutram 1 243 prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam the term masa ta gets resignation upasarjanam because in the samasa vidhayaka sutram 2131 the term tritiya which comes as anuvritti from the sutram 2130 ends in the nominative case and hence as per 2230 upasarjanam purvam the term masa ta is placed in the prior position in the compound now masa ta purva su gets resignation pratipadikam by 1246 krutta dita samasascha because we have formed samasa this allows 2471 supod dhatu pratipadika yoho to apply the next step to do the look elision of the suffixes ta and su which are inside the compound pratipadikam so we get the final form of the compound pratipadikam masa purva in the masculine gender masa purva declines like rama shabda in the neuter it declines like vana shabda in the feminine gender masa purva declines like rama shabda similarly we can form the compounds matra sadrishah matra sadrishah similar to a mother pitra samaha equals pitra samaha equal to a father mashena onam mashonam karshapanam or mashena vikalam equals mash vikalam karshapanam a coin a karshapanam that is less unam or short by a particular weight mash is a pradipadikam denoting a particular weight we can use unam or vikalam or any other synonym of unam because the sutram says unartha so una or any of its synonyms next example is vacha kalaha vak kalaha quarrel with words acharena nipunaha achara nipunaha skillful or clever in conduct gudena mishraha equals guda mishraha mixed with molasses or jaggery acharena shlakshnaha achara shlakshnaha gentle or polished in conduct steps of course are very similar to those we just used to form masa purva first note here says that mishra grahane sopasargasyapi grahanam so the compounding is allowed even when mishra is preceded by a upasarga a preposition how do we know this mishra उपसर्गम the accent is for us so it's not that important to us we are only using it as a nyapakam which tells us that a upasarga is allowed with mishra otherwise there is no point in specifying anupasargam hence the following compound is allowed gudena sammishra dhanaha guda sammishra dhanaha cereals well mixed with molasses okay the last note here says that the vartikam avarasyopa sankhyanam states that avara should be added to the list of terms purva etc mentioned in the sutram 2131 for example masena varaha masena avaraha equals masa varaha junior younger by a month but the commentator says unarthe tyev siddhatvadidam sutyajam eva so actually the above vartikam is not required because avara can be included in the category unartha because avara is synonym of una so therefore we can manage easily without the vartikam